Will, are you gonna come back and help him build the zip line? You better not. Otherwise, that's that's coming out of your pay. Why is he leaf blowing the woods? <laughs> dude, why is he leaf blowing the woods, dude? What is going on over there? Good morning and welcome back to the 50 Shades of Grass channel here on YouTube. We are back in Hampton, New Jersey. We got Devon loading up the cooler at the moment. Finally got a dry spell after a couple days of rain. But we're back. We're going to finish up the ground prep. And um, hopefully get down the weed barrier and start rolling out some turf. I don't know if you can see but the turf we delivered one of these days when it was raining. It's up at the top of the hill. And we'll just cut it out, drag it down, get as much as we can done today. Don't really expect us to get any real cutting in, but we'll do what we can. Um, Willie is still out on vacation and will be until the end of or the beginning of next week. But of course, we're supposed to get more rain on Monday and Tuesday of next week. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm gonna put my boots on and we're gonna get going on some ground prep here in Hampton. So if you guys remember, there was that pool, the in-ground insert pool that we uh, put the metal edging around. They finally got a concrete pad in where the cabana is. So we put more stone dust in and around there. And uh, we're gonna go get this compacted and get moving. I just drag that. stone dust is in all the edgings down concrete pad for the cabanas are filled in over there and then same thing over here all the stone dust is down and in we put more stone dust over here on the right hand side and more edging just to enclose it up but it's looking good so I'm gonna get raking Devon's gonna start compacting and we'll go from there somebody's grinding something over there you hear that yeah loud, loggers perhaps do you want to start compacting yeah. so what i would say is stay away from this edge gotcha. the metal edge like you know five six inches gotcha. and then we'll go around and hand tan because otherwise it's going to bulge out this metal
<laughs> Why am I putting it right there? Because I want to make sure you don't drop it down the hill. Oh, I'm not. You better not. Otherwise, that's that's coming out of your pay. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We lost like six or seven of those things already. Left behind from job sites and whatnot. No big deal. Let's rake out these mounds we left here just to get the grade. I think we're going to need them anyway, so might as well put them here. To divert the water down the hill. It is a good day to work. Well, it's still early. I mean, it's only like 9.30. Let's give a little tutorial on raking. The final grading. So, once you compact the ground, essentially you want to run it over with a grading rake or a landscape rake as they're sold as. So, essentially, score the, the highs and reveal the lows. And you can see as I pull the rake back and forth, there's a low spot that hasn't been touched, and then the high spot's being raked out. So. Essentially, that is a, a little bit of a valley that needs to be filled. So you can easily identify you know, the high spots and the low spots. And it's best to go in both directions so that you can kind of level everything out. But you see, you score the earth and then you flip it over, use the flat side. And you can kind of see that there's that ripple or bubble. So like if I put it down, see how it's dragging stuff from the left and the right, but the left, the center is still contained. So essentially we would fill in that middle spot. All right. With some of the excess that we scraped off the top until it's perfectly flat. And that's how you would fill in the grades. Pretty simple, but a little repetitive at times.
Good morning and welcome back to the 50 Shades of Grass channel here on YouTube. Today we're headed back to Hampton, New Jersey. We got Will back from vacation, so he is fresh as ever. Brick -a -brick -a fresh. <laughs> Wilson's grabbing a coffee right now, but uh, it did rain crazy overnight. Big storm came through. It's actually still wet over here in Bayonne, but we're heading out to almost Pennsylvania line. So hopefully it should have passed over. It should be dry over there for us to finish up cutting. We did get all the turf rolled out and cut into place. So that's gonna make today a lot easier. Um, and then obviously infill, um, and we should be out of there. So we're gonna get going. Wilson's gonna get in the truck, but we're gonna load up and get hauling out there, but we'll see you guys at the job site. You think we got everything? That's probably all we need. We got glue, we got staples, we got nails, we got hammers, we got blades, we got weed barrier. We don't need the weed barrier, but we got it. We got weed barrier. And we got Wilson. Hmm. <laughs> no hot dogs though. Oh well. Oh well. No hot dogs today. Yeah, That's all right. We don't really need much. All right. Let's get going. We got it. Come on. Grab your boots. Let's go. All right. We're out in Hampton. Let's get going. Four inches, right? Um, around an inch and a half, two inches around the pool. There's that concrete slab that's there. So here's uh, the turf we got roughed in so far. The other day with the Vaughn, after we finished up all the ground prep. That's got to shift. I know, I just saw it. And then wrapped all the way around the pool. And we got it over here on this side as well. This was a struggle. Um, this was a struggle for sure. We had to manhandle all of these rolls. I think the largest is like 26, 27 feet, but it's 80 ounce weight, so it's quite heavy. We had to drag it around through the side of the house over here in the truck, and then manhandle it up here. And because they came in 100 foot rolls for the other pool guy that was supposed to do this, um, you know, we had to roll them out on the top of the hill and then get them cut and then drag them all down. So it was a, uh, a fight to say the least. We're gonna get going on cutting this stuff up, seaming it all together. See, they added some plants, which looks really nice over here on the back edge. So that's pretty cool. And some flamingos. But today's the day, it's misting at the moment. We're gonna try to get as much as we can done. Hopefully it'll stop and we'll be okay to put it on the infill. How's it going, welcome? Good. How's it going, Willie? It's going, it's going straight. I like it nice and straight. I like it. It's looking good. Man, we got the tree guys in here rolling in with Mercedes trucks. They're fancy. Oh, they're fancy, yeah. They're fancy. All right, we're making some pretty good progress. We got the tree guys here cutting down some trees literally around the corner from us. Literally right out front of our truck. I think they're cutting down three or four trees today. And then um, we have the majority of the stuff done around the pool, but it's about 11.30 or so. So we're gonna go around and go to the guys' lunch, make sure they're getting fed. Of course, we got a cooler full of cold drinks, but uh, it was misting the entire morning. So I'm a little hesitant about trying to drop down the infill because it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Um, if the ground is not dry, the infill just doesn't settle into the times and it's so much more work than it has to be. But we'll figure it out, um, we'll get from there and you know, it's coming along pretty nicely. But. Safety second. Money first. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> money. Guess so. <clears throat> Where's all the buenos? <clears throat> Lots of buenos.
Howdy, partner. Wasabi. Wasabi. Putting down the infill now. Everything's all cut out. It looks really nice. Thank you, sir. Tree guys are still here cutting trees now. You kind of just get it until it still sits on top. Oh. See how it starts to like clump up a little bit on top? Yeah. Like that? So that's, that's probably good for the majority of turfs, but the taller the pile of turf, the more infill it requires. So this is a an 80 ounce weight, an inch and a half. So it's generally going to take about a pound and a half of her square foot of infill. If you're doing this a couple years, you know, you start to figure that stuff out. But every manufacturer is different. So, you want for the turf, sorry. And of course, the looser, like the less dense turf, that requires less or more infill, rather. So, the blades of grass stand straight up. Think of it like a football field astroturf. So that stuff you put down like an inch and a half to an inch of ground up rubber. You played with some shit that was like a mat. It was not even wax. What was it? And you get, um, it was turf. It was like some type of compressed turf. Shit burns like a bitch when you fall. <laughs> so real, you, you get like fucking rug burns. So you get rash, yeah. Yeah, like rash. She was bad. Well. We used to hate playing on that. Technology's changed since then, my. A shitty cloudy day, a sunny day. All at once. Yeah, I know. The weather's crazy. It was raining this morning. No, it was pouring this morning. I see leaf blow in the woods. <laughs> dude, why is he leaf blow in the woods, dude? Bathroom's in there, yes. You gotta go past the hot tub, beyond the disco ball, and it's off the left hand side. The pool table's on the right. Yeah, and there's a big ice machine right in front of you. 
Yeah, the bouncy house is off to the left. <laughs> it's always fun screwing around with Willie. They always like to play jokes on us, so we do the same thing for him. Let me get this out of the spreader. This one's this is a little wet. That's what you guys were talking about this morning, right? Yeah, because when it gets wet, it gets sticky. Mm. It doesn't want to go down. Makes it a lot. Oh, sorry. Makes it a lot harder to spread. Still cold. Well, that's a good thing. feel it when you walk on it where there's like not much mm. yeah give me that last one and then uh leave two on that pallet on that pallet all the rest of it we can bring them over to the back all right i got you and the reason we're leaving two on the pallets is because homeowners are gonna have to come back here and yeah, fill this spot in when he puts his paper patio. Did you hear that he's building a zip line? Yeah, he was telling me. Oh, yeah. This guy's like like Willie wants him to be his father. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the final. Looks really good. Turf going around the whole exterior of the in-ground pool. It is so nice. And then we got the flamingos, of course. Or the hot tub. Turf going around the whole side of it as well. Came out really nice. So we're all finished up here. We're gonna get going. I am a mess, and Willie and I are gonna head back. We got Willie or Wilson in the truck already, but we'll see you guys on the next one. Subscribe!